Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Taurus for September 17th through the 24th. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back to the Mystical Tribe. And yes, this is going to be a general message. It will not resonate with every Taurus out there. That's why I do advise that you do check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus video to get a full message for what uh, is going to be going on for that week for you, okay? Uh, if you'd like to check out the extended version of my readings or if you'd like to get your own personal coaching, all of my information will be listed below. Please feel free to check that out. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much that. If you would like to... What was I about to say? If you'd like to also, I think I already said that. If you want to check out the extended versions, it's going to be listed below also. Alrighty, so let's get into it. We're going to do some intuitive messages first, guys. Um, I've been doing readings all morning, so I'm a little exhausted, but it's fine. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Taurus for September 17th through the 24th, please. Some intuitive messages for my Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Taurus. For September 17th through the 24th. Okay. So I am seeing here that a lot of you Taurus are going to be... Let me actually fix you guys. Okay. So a lot of you Tauruses are going to be getting a lot of inspiration coming in this week. I feel as if... You really need to take action on it. I feel like it's a really good idea and you need to go ahead and actually set it into motion. OK, uh, some of you guys are going to be running it down to some of your closest friends, like asking for their advice. I feel like you should not let them get you down if they are trying to discredit you and your new idea. OK. But nonetheless, I am seeing that, yeah, some of you guys are going to be getting a lot of attention. Some of you guys are like doing shows or something like that, or your show for some of you guys, you may have, mm, for some of you guys, you may have an internet show, or you may have just performed in some sort of like broad Broadway stage show, some sort of performing arts thing. Uh, it's getting a lot of praise, like a lot of attention, a lot of love and you need to just have confidence in your creations. I feel like you did not expect all this love and all the support to come in or you're not going to expect the fact that it's going to be coming in for you. But yeah, it looks pretty good here. Just continue to share your art with everybody. Continue to showcase your talents and people are going to continuously feel what you have going on. OK, especially if you are a musician. Or somebody who's an actor. Yeah, I'm seeing that also. You guys need to make sure that you're meditating on some things here i feel like you need to get grounded within yourself making sure that you're taking your time to appreciate things that are going to be coming in for you for some of you guys i feel like you need to make sure that you're working with some archangels to clear out your energy because i feel like you need to surrender and release some emotions here and you may not be fully getting it out and that's a huge issue I feel like you need to confront your emotions in a time where you are alone. Okay. But I am seeing that your dreams are really going to be um, guiding you to plant some things and you setting your intentions will be very needed here. Some of you guys are dreaming about like flowers or something like that. I heard something about Venus flytraps. I don't know what that has to do with anything. I never know what any of these things have to do with anything. Some of you guys are dreaming about like flowers or like being in the floor at the forest or something like that. But I am seeing that 
you need to set your intentions moving forward um some of you guys who do candle magic make sure that you're calling on an archangel when you do candle magic okay archangel michael will be good too to call upon for that week okay guys um so let's go ahead and get into some spiritual messages for my lovely taurus spiritual messages okay so i have play so you guys need to be open to having fun here. Make sure that you're not being too serious. Some of you guys, I feel like you guys have gone through a lot. And I feel like some of you guys just need to take a step back and just have a cocktail. <laughs> or celebrate, honestly, your success. Some of you guys have worked really, really hard. Like I said, if you are an artist and you've just came off tour or something like that, I feel like you need to celebrate your success. Um... If it's not that, you just need to celebrate your success. You may have came a long way and you just need to celebrate that. Uh, continue to not dim yourself down to fit in with anybody, okay? Continue to be bold. Continue to be yourself, all righty? Especially if people act like they don't see you. People see you. <laughs> but continue to share your voice come out of your cave some of you guys are like in your own space like just not wanting to go out there and share what you have to say go ahead and do it like don't hold back say what you have to say okay so let's see what's popping with your love messages what's going on with my sun moon rising in venus taurus for september 17th through the 24th september 17th through the 24th for my lovely Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Taurus. What's going on with their love lives for that week? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Taurus for September 17th through the 24th. So you may be dealing with a situation here where uh, the person that you're dealing with, Jesus Christ, this person may be either older than you, a different race than you, a different, just there's differences that you guys may have. Uh, whatever those differences may be, maybe even religious or spiritual factors, whatever it may be. I'm just seeing that you guys have a lot of passion for each other. You guys may um, also have this situation where children are affecting your love life, whether you have a new baby uh, in the... Wow, that's really fucked up. I really just <laughs> peeped something, okay? And it's like every time I see these cards, it's like more crazy things pop out to me. If you're a woman and you have children with this man, you may be at home taking care of the baby and he's like out having bitches, okay? Uh, that's for somebody out there. And he's really sloppy with it. I saw this for Gemini too. If you're dealing with a Gemini, honey, go check out their video. But um, yeah, I'm seeing where this person's very sloppy with how they kind of clean up their cheating. For some of you, this person may walk into the house and they don't even button up their clothes. And it's just like, they don't expect you to notice because you're so focused on the child. But this man got several bitches. Okay, he got them all on the leash. They know how to act right. <laughs> wow, that's messed up. But yeah, there is deception within this connection that you're dealing with here. Alrighty, this person that you're dealing with may be married. Also, if you're married to this person, this person's wearing a false mask. He may act like everything's okay, but it's not okay. He got bitches. Alrighty, so you need to figure that out, honey. Let's go ahead and actually do a spread to see what's going on with that. What's going on with my sun, moon, rising, and Venus Taurus for September 17th through the 24th? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus Taurus for September 17th through the 24th. September 17th through the 24th. And if you guys don't have children together, this person may be very childish and still have bitches, okay? <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm seeing somebody being deceptive, though. Okay, bottom of the deck, I do have the full card. 
uh, the Fool card, the Three of Swords, and the Death card. So you may be trying to take a leap of faith with somebody, but I feel like you're going to get your heart broken with this situation because uh, it's going to end like right after you take that leap of faith. Um, I feel like you may be dealing with somebody who's overindulgent. This person may be kind of displaying things as being all right, but I feel like you need to get some sort of clarity from this person because they may have actually turned their back on you because they have multiple things that they're waiting for to come in for them also they may be waiting for a fire sign to come in this may also be a fire sign that you're dealing with okay maybe an aries okay but nonetheless i am seeing this person or you excuse me not this person as the queen of wands coming into this week so you like i said could be dealing with a fire sign but um i am seeing that there is a situation where somebody's very passionate about something but it's a huge burden okay i am seeing that you may be dealing with the leo but i am seeing again where you may be dealing with somebody who's a huge burden to you and you keep trying to tame this person and make it seem like this person's going to either get better or something of that nature especially if they say really harsh things to you really nasty things you keep thinking that you're going to fix the situation it's not going to happen this person is you need to think about some things here you need to meditate on what you're trying to manifest and if it's going to be balanced or not okay but um what i am seeing in the past there was an offer extended to you maybe from a gemini this person could have acted super fast to extend it to you but then it just ended up in heartbreak this person may say some really nasty things to you you guys may have really nasty arguments and i feel like you just wanted to complete that cycle of really rough times you didn't want to deal with that anymore okay and it just caused more heartbreak than anything what I'm seeing in the future, I do have the Queen of Chalices clarified by the Nine of Swords. So you may be in your head very emotional about a situation that happened here. It may be clearing up, like you may be emotionally clearing up from it, but you're still going to be kind of sad about it a little bit, okay? It could be a cancer. This could be also a cancer that you're dealing with, but I feel like you're going to be moving on. Some of you guys are going to be getting a new car. <laughs> this person, yeah, I feel like you're just going to be turning things. You're going to let the universe do what they need to do. You're going to just let the situation be how it is and let the universe kind of spin it the way that it needs to be spinned. Because I feel like you're using your intuition with the situation. You feel like there's some sort of secrets. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. But um, I feel like you just want balance and you want things to be right. For some of you guys, there's a legal situation um, that may come up here. Okay. Um, some of you guys may get married to a water sign. What I'm seeing for the focus and reason, I do have the sun card here. So like I said, it could be a Leo. That's a huge burden to you. Um, also, it could be some information that was brought to light that caused a huge burden for you and or it caused the completion of a huge burden. Like you're about to drop the burden because you found out some information here um, and you're going to be moving on. OK, it could be with an earth sign. Leo air sign, whoever. OK. What I'm seeing for the potential outcome, I do have the hangman here clarified with the six of wands and the king of wands. So I feel like you are going to still be stuck to this fire sign who may get a lot of attention or may want attention from you. Uh, it's going to be very stagnant. This person has multiple offers. This person is a hoe, guys. And I'm not I don't like to use that word. That's not a nice word to use. So I'm not going to use the word hoe. For the cross watchers sake okay for the cross watchers but um this person is not gonna move this along i feel like you need to see this from the right perspective this person gets a lot of attention from other people okay this person you see it for yourself okay this person may be having sex with multiple people also um but yeah, I feel like you're going to have to walk away because you're not going to be emotionally satisfied with what this person's offering you. Uh, this person, yeah, this cycle is going to close because there's a situation from somebody's past that they're still upset about and unable to see a new relationship. It may also be a situation here with a Virgo. Alrighty. So what's going on with my Taurus cross watcher partner person that they're dealing with for September 17th through the 24th? If you guys want to check out the extended version, it will be posted on my Patreon. Make sure you become a member today for $3.33 to check it out. 
Um, and yeah, let's see what's going on with the cross watcher. What's going on with my Taurus cross watcher partner and person that they're dealing with for September 17th through the 24th. So this person's unhappy. <laughs> it was upright at first, but then it flipped right, um, right upside down. This person may be having financial issues, feeling very left out also by you. Okay, so I feel like they may be also in a marriage for some of you guys. This person may be in a marriage. Yeah. Um, I am seeing that this person's very... This person feels like this situation is very stagnant here. I feel like this person also needs to see the situation from the right perspective. Uh, this person may have said some really hurtful things or acted too quickly to cheat for some of you guys or cut the situation out and avoided it and there was some sort of third party situation for some of you guys this person just straight up cheated okay this person straight up cheated some of you guys this person could have told you that they straight up cheated on you okay but yeah this person's very dissatisfied with what's going on here they may be trying to heal and have hope you could be dealing with an aquarius but um there's a lot of secrets going on with this person i'm also seeing a lot of people in this connection so i'm not even going to try to figure out what that's about if you guys want to see a full spread on the cross watcher please feel free what did i just say please feel free to check out my links below and i will see you guys on the other side bye taurus